What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. So I've been playing with the Galaxy Note 2 for the better part of a day and I want to give my very first impressions on it. This is by no means a review. We'll do a review when I feel that we've used the device plenty. Uh, but upon just picking it up and trying it, I want to let you guys know what it feels like to use a Galaxy Note 2, what the speed is, how the screen responds, how the new S Pen is, and everything that's packed in to this 5.5 inch phone. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so after playing with the Galaxy Note 2 for just a little while, I've got some first impressions. Some of them are pretty interesting. Uh, so first, it's got a freaking giant screen, uh, which gives it a lot of advantages. Let's go ahead and open up the web, for example. You can see so much stuff. Uh, so if you're like me and you like to see a lot of content, your eyesight's not the best, you can adjust the font to make it bigger. Uh, this is going to be an awesome phone for you. Where this is most useful to me, actually, is managing a fantasy sports team. So if you're a sports nerd and you like to make sure you can check out your whole team, uh, turn this guy over in landscape you can see absolutely everything uh, and it's pretty awesome uh, to see so go ahead and close that up here and I'll show you in a minute web and uh, videos they look absolutely incredible on here pictures as well uh, so the next question that I always get is this thing pocketable so it's a little bit longer than the original Galaxy Note uh, but it's thinner and narrower and it does fit in the pockets actually you'd be surprised go to a store uh, once this is out and try it at least once carriers have it, and see if you can fit it in your pocket. If you wear super tight skinny jeans, obviously it's not going to work. Uh, but if you wear regular, you know, dude pants, uh, you should be totally fine putting this guy in your pocket. Uh, the next thing, quad core, 2 gigs of RAM. This thing is predictably super fast. Uh, touch Wiz is obviously a bit of a resource hog, but you don't notice it at all with... Uh, the processing power that this sucker has. And it's got a ton of uh, processing power. And I think one of the best ways to display that, I mean, I could open up apps and show you quickly they open, but the coolest thing that this thing does that shows the power of the phone is with this guy, the new S Pen. It's got a bit of a new design uh, with it as well. It's no longer round. It's got some angles on it uh, to better be gripped. So as you go and take the S Pen, and you hover over, and you start hovering over the phone, you get a little bit of a cursor. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Uh, but it looks like a mouse. You can go ahead and open up anything you want. Let's go ahead and open up Video Player. This is where some cool stuff starts to happen. As you go ahead and just hover over a video, it starts to play. You can actually scrub through it too if you want uh, by doing this. Let's say that's the video you want to watch. You got a bit of a preview and you're good to go. You want to watch that video. Yay, look at that video. It looks awesome. But you also want to check your email or do something different. Well, you can do that actually. Go ahead and tap the screen again. Hit that button right there. Gives you sort of a pop-up play, they call it. You could drag this anywhere you want and you can go ahead and do anything you want to do. Let's say you want to open up... Uh, the internet. You can go ahead and check your sites on Techno Buffalo, read an article, anything you want, and that video is going to stay there. And if you rotate, it's going to rotate with you. Uh, it's a really, really cool feature, actually. And if you want to close it when you're done, tap it, get next, and then it is gone. I don't know how useful it's going to be in, in sort of real life, but it is very cool to like show off what you can do uh, with your phone. Um, so if we go into gallery, that sort of pop-up thing is also here on pictures. So I'll go ahead and go back. Just hover over it, Oops. just hover over it, and you're going to get that pop-up. Similar to what you get in OS X with the hitting the space bar. It'll sort of be a pop-up preview. It's kind of handy to quickly scroll through photos to see what you want. So another advantage of this giant screen is you get a pretty awesome keyboard, actually. Uh, so you've got a full sort of Samsung keyboard that we've seen in the past, but also you have a full number row. So no more having to hit symbol to getting where you want. You can access uh, a full 10 digits uh, right at the top. Pretty, uh, pretty handy. I do wish the spacebar was a bit bigger, but you also have a www button when you're on the web and, uh, and that kind of thing. When you're not on a website, the spacebar does uh, increase. So I'll go ahead and go home. Uh, build quality seems to be really nice. It feels very much like a giant-sized Galaxy S3, which is not a bad thing. Uh, when we do our full review, of course, we'll test battery life, uh, LTE speed, data speeds in general, uh, and how the phone performs over the rigors of every day and how the call quality is and speaker quality and everything. Uh, but on first blush, this is a really impressive device uh, running an incredibly solid Jelly Bean operating system with really a second to none uh, hardware specs. So overall, it's been a very positive experience with the Galaxy Note. Anything you guys want to see us cover in a full review, let us know and we'll be sure to do that. Uh, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check us out for the latest and greatest tech news. And I will see you guys in the next video.